Um, just past the waterfall so it will fall in behind and that's how how you keep track of and easily move your items around now what I'm going to do now is we're going to start out with the first uh, photograph and I, I would like to encourage you if there are not a lot of uh, uh, background reference points in this case you see uh, after this area is designed you're still going to have the reference point of the fence, uh, the wall on the back, and something up front. And in this case, I purposely left just a corner of the air conditioner, which is on the patio in the picture. That way, once all this changes, they can still relate when they look at the before and after picture um, uh, that it is definitely the same area, because sometimes people are so shocked, or in the case of pictures where there aren't a lot of reference points, by the time we get the waterfall done, uh, they can't have anything to really associate the two pictures. And you'll see what I mean. Um, you're going to see part of this wall, this wall, and everything in the surface when we bring the picture in. Now, before I do a digital design, I explain to the client that uh, we do offer this as a service, and what we do is take a deposit of $350. Now, that deposit is to do a digital design. If they like the design and like the, the, the price of the project, then we will go ahead and deduct the $350 for the de design from the labor in the contract. Of course, we're already adding $350 into the contract because it is a legitimate cost. So what we're doing by pulling out the $350 is just giving $350 back to them as an issue of the uh, digital design. Now, we will explain that uh, it's really hard for them to understand what it is that we're going to do. So once they get their design, they will easily be able to see what they're going to end up with or something very close. So I'll start to explain. What we're going to do is we're going we're to put maybe a, a banana tree or a, a, a bird of paradise here in the corner, maybe one over here on the other side. We're going to build a waterfall right here in the middle and maybe a pond right here in the front, maybe the full width of the of the waterfall maybe a little short so we got a planting area to the left and we're going to cover the patio with quartzite that is a flat rock uh, much like uh, 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 sandstone except it's very very hard and when they get their digital design they'll see they'll still see all the reference points that they had before the air conditioner the trees in the back I mean the the houses in the back and uh, the fence. So as we, we, we jump from the original back to the finished product, you can see how the, the whole backyard was transformed. And they can get a pretty good idea of what it's going to look like when it's done. Now they have a choice of saying, um, uh, well, it's a little over our budget, then we can say, well, we can make your waterfall a little bit smaller. Drop it down a little bit, maybe bring it over here into the corner, and at least you've got a reference point to start with, with a picture. Now this, uh, we'll jump to the second one. So this is a little more dramatic. Um, I was explaining to them what we can do is bring a waterfall down the hill into a pond in this area right here, and maybe put a bridge over the pond. I love bridges, and everybody that gets a bridge loves a bridge, so we try to incorporate them into every photograph. They can cross the bridge right here, right where the waterfall falls into the pond, over to a little patio along this wall, and maybe put a bench up against the wall so they can cross the bridge, come over and sit down and enjoy everything. And uh, put, a, put a, um, a little pathway from the bridge maybe around the pond, around this side to this end of the patio, maybe have one step down to the path. So it's hard for them to picture it, some people. Some people just with the words you've painted a picture in their mind. Um, but either way, uh, by creating the actual finished design, they can see what they're going to get. So as you uh, observe this picture, I'm going to bring the other one in by double-clicking. There's the finished product. You can still see the retaining wall. 
Uh, you can still see the, the, the brick wall and uh, everything else has been incorporated into it. And just like I had explained, uh, we bring the waterfall down the hill. Now, in, in some cases, we'll take uh, loose rocks. Maybe this is where the waterfall is actually going to start, but we'll take loose rocks and finish up to the top of the hill. So it's a little cheaper, but it looks like the water's coming down the hill because we do like a dry uh, riverbed or um, using loose stones to create the effect that this goes all the way to the top of the hill. Here we have the path around the pond. We've got the patio with a bench on it and the, the little bridge crossing the pond. The waterfall comes down and drops in just short of it, just as though I explained it to them. Now up here we've put in a, a couple uh, a trees. And of course, if you're at the part of the country that you don't use these kind of trees, maybe you've got a willow or a, a, a spruce or something you've put in here to hide the equipment. The pump and the filter, the UV light, all those uh, pieces of equipment are over here behind the trees. We'll jump back again. Here's a before, after. Do it a couple more times. Before, after, uh, before, and an after. So you can see why it's, it's very easy to not run into problems with people getting something that they didn't know they were getting. They have no excuse once they've seen this picture. Okay, here's our next one. Now this home was on the golf course, so it had a beautiful backdrop. They already had this bench sitting here, so I thought I'd utilize this bench in the, in the, in the design of, of the waterfall. And since they're going to be seeing it from the front of the house here, or I mean the back of the house, they're going to be looking out at it. I thought right here would be a really nice place to, to have the, uh, the waterfall back a ways and then have it dump into a pond right here, have the pond come all the way up here to the, to the sidewalk, and then create a, a, a little stone path, much like we did uh, with this one, and have it come off the sidewalk over to the bridge, off the other side of the bridge, back around over to the sidewalk again. Now there are some things that you, I'm going to teach you how to do as we go. We're going to have to clean up this picture a little bit before we use it. What I mean by that is you see this little weed sticking up right here. And then, of course, there's a lot of dirt from the landscaping that they've started to do. They've already put in their drains and, and whatnot. So you see you have to take into consideration these drains. We may have to, after we dig the pond, uh, reroute those around the pond or drop, uh, uh, drop it off to the back in front of the waterfall to change the configuration depending on where the pond's going to be. We never worry about sprinklers. We never worry about drains because there's always a way to reroute stuff. But I, I got rid of these bushes, got rid of this, this little uh, tray, uh, plant tray that's sitting here on the sidewalk. And also got rid of a lot of this dirt that's on the sidewalk here, kind of cleaned up the sidewalk a little bit. And here we go. We're going to bring the picture in. So watch that as I bring the other one in just by double clicking on it. The other picture pops up. And as you said, see, uh, as I described to them, we'll put the waterfall back here, dumping into a pond with a little bridge over it and some plants in front. Here's her little path, quartzite, up to the bridge and coming back around to the sidewalk again. And as you see, we got rid of the bushes, we got rid of that tray on the sidewalk, and we got rid of most of the dirt. Didn't want to clean it up completely, but uh, we, we got it uh, uh, a lot of that stuff removed. And now you still have the view of the, of the uh, background and the bench, but everything else other than the sidewalk has changed. So we're going to go back and do this about three times. So if you'll watch the picture, we'll take it back to the original, bring the design in, back to the original, and bring the design in. Now, what's nice is if you have a laptop and you can uh, take this with you to your client's house, it's pretty dramatic when you've got the picture of their backyard up on the computer and then you just Oh, voila, there's your finished product. It's kind of a, and you can even mow the lawn. I'll teach you how to do that with digital design. No, I'm kidding. Um, this has already been mowed. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, this one was fun because it's a really nice canvas to work with. A lot of uh, uh, interesting topography here. We've got the retaining wall to work with, so we could bring part of our waterfall off of the retaining wall bring the rest of the waterfall down the hill here. And I explained what we could do is put the pond in, 
remove all of this sidewalk, bring the pond in, have it continue all the way over to the driveway right here. So that'll be the pond. The waterfall will come down, fall into it. Right here, we'll put a quartzite concrete bridge, either arched or flat, over to a set of steps. Up the steps to another quartzite path that finishes up to the road.